Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumbly. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Today we're gonna go over the marquee matchups and show you where you guys can make profit and looking for cards you can use. So if you guys do enjoy this video, feel free to smack the like button and subscribe if you're new. Now, the reward is a premium gold players pack. So that means this is gonna be in demand. That's a pretty good pack for marquee matchups. Let's take a look at the individual teams and see what you could potentially get out of them though. So here we got Fenderbach versus Trabzonzor or however you say that. Um, for this one, you need Turkey players minimum of one, nationalities, regions, max of five, bird players minimum of two, silver players minimum of eight, team chemistry 75. So that means the silver market's gonna go up like crazy. You could get some bronzes in there too. Rating is not a problem. Um, let's take a look at what pack we can get. And it's a small prime and mixed players pack, which is good for that team. You have the chance of getting something out of it. So it looks like there's some left wings and left backs in here too. So bronze and silver defenders, without a doubt, will go up crazy. Um, typically, like left mids and right mids don't go for much in bronzes and silvers. Uh, those will go up now. So try to get those out of your club if you can. I'm trying to see if we can... Eight silvers, rare, nationality. Okay, so you have to kind of keep the same nationalities throughout... So if you go England leagues again, if you go um, the championship, um, third division, fourth division, things like that, you'll be able to get away with using the same league. Um, same with the Bundesliga. I mean, same nationality throughout. You get a lot of England players in this. And then Scotland. Um, surprisingly, there's quite a few Australia players in League 3, which is unheard of. Typically, it's not like that. Uh, but yeah, so that one... Look to sell those on. Use it yourself. It shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's go down to the Dortmund versus Schalke. This one, Dortmund or FC Schalke players, you need a minimum of one. Clubs, minimum of four. Players from the same league, max of three. Team overall rating 75. Team chemistry 80. For this one, people are going to be primarily using gold cards, but you can still probably get away with a couple silvers as well. So this one's Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. If you have any Bundesliga players who are silver, now would be the time to sell them. Um, let's take a look. So you get two strikers in here. So striker price will for sure go up. Hmm. Players from the same league, max of three. Yeah, this is going to be a good one for, um, German. If you use German silvers. So if we take a look right now, they're probably going to be in the process of going up currently. They might not be super up yet, but by the time you're watching this video, I want you to check out Bundesliga two. See if like. 71 or 8 German right back. Is he up in price? Yeah, he's going for almost 800 coins. Let's try to left mid, see if the left mid works. Okay, he's 600 currently. So there's definitely profit to be made there. The more solutions that come out on Footbend, the more these cards are going to come up, especially if people are using silvers. So keep an eye on that. Check out Footbend. I'll put a link down below. Um, now let's go to Southampton versus Everton. For this one, you need Premier League players minimum of two. You need leagues minimum of two. Um, players from one club, you need a max of six. Goal players, you need a minimum of three. Team overall rating, you need 74. And then team chemistry, 75. That gets you a mixed players pack. We'll take a look at that. So this one, if you go in here... Okay, so midfielders are going to be popular in this one. And I like that the rating is 74, because that means you can get quite a few silvers in there. Now, you need a minimum of three golds. So if you do have untradeable golds, I would recommend using the high rated ones, such as like 80 rated. If you do what I do and do the upgrade method, where you take your silvers and put them in the upgrade pack, you might have quite a few high 70 rated players that you have no reason to use them for. You could toss them into this. Um, in terms of nationalities, let me think. Premier League. Yeah, you're probably going to have a lot of um, the championship player cards go up in price for this one as well. So I would look at championship cards. We'll do it together real quick. If you have any championship golds, those are probably going to go up too. Like even center back, 68 rated. You'll see a rise in price. This guy bid 150 on him. A lot of these we bid 150. And now he's going for 800 coins. So again, 
sell everything you have once you complete this solution. It's going to be 100% worth it. Then here we got Barcelona v Real Madrid. Um, you need a minimum one player from those teams. La Liga players, minimum of two. Leagues, max three. Rare players, minimum of one. Team overall rating 75 and team chemistry 85. You get a prime election players back. Now, this is where a lot of people are going to cash out. Ooh, a left forward and a right forward with 75 chem. Okay. So you might have to make sure you get good chem across the midfield. I'm trying to see what the second division of Spain be going up as well. Oh, yeah. There's quite a few golds in this one. So 100% these will rise. You're going to see like some of the discard players potentially go up a little bit in price too, um, whether that's rare, but probably the non-rare is more than anything. This guy picked him up for 300 coins. He's going, looks like, around 800. So there's definitely across the board profit to be made. Be smart when you guys are doing this as well. If you don't have these cards already in your club, I'd highly recommend for next week investing in some silvers for 150 coins just throughout the top leagues and nationalities that say Leagues that share the same nationalities. So if you have Premier League players, you know that's in England. So you want to go for championship players who are silver um, that are English. Then you want to go for players that are English in third division, fourth division, so on, so on. That's going to make you so many coins later on. And then also, too, the next marquee matchup, you not only are going to save coins when you do these SBCs yourself, you're going to have the opportunity to sell these on for major profit. So that's what we're going to do there. Um, we'll complete this on stream today with you guys. It'll be a challenge we do. Um, I was going to do like a solution video for marquee matchups, but I think since there's so many different people doing the method I'm showing you guys with investing in silver cards, I don't think it makes sense to show you exact players since those prices are going to go up anyways. I think laying the basics of how I invest for marquee matchups, how I'm making the coins, I think that's going to be way more important for you guys. And just to kind of show you that this does work and I'm not making it up, uh, let's go list some cards real quick. So as you see, we just relisted some cards and a lot of them are already selling. And these were the ones for 300, um, which I do throughout the week when marquee matchups isn't out. So we know that the market is rising in that sense. But if we go, for example, my favorite filter to do, if we go defenders, let's do specifically center backs. If we did center backs, who are silver? Oh, it's going to give me all the rare ones, isn't it? Okay, let's get off the rares. Let's get to the non-rares, because this is where you make the most profit from. Let's take something like this. A 72 rated center back. He's not easy to link, but he's already going for 1,000 coins. So we're not going to get greedy. We're going to do 300 starting price. So if people want to make a bid on him, he would sell for what he typically would during the week. And then we're going to do a buy now of 700. And then I kind of just go through here in clear house. As you see here, this guy's going for around 900 coins. Same thing. We do the 700 buy now. And really, this is where the grind pays off. If you've been investing throughout the week, if you've been taking advantage of the fact that people don't really know what they're doing with silvers for the most part until they need it in an SBC solution, you're going to make so many coins off of people. And another question I get a lot from people as well is people asking, how do you make profit on this? I don't want to sit here and just invest all week just to sell them on Thursday. Well, you can wait all week and sell them on Thursday and you'll make quite a few coins from doing it. But all these trading methods I'm showing you of bidding 150 on these players, as you saw in my transfer list, you can sell these throughout the week as well. You might be only making 150 coins on each or 200 coins on each. But since you're bidding 150, you're going to be doubling your coins. So it is definitely worth it, in my opinion, if you still want to do this method. Um, it will be good throughout the year. It doesn't go away. I think once League SBCs come out, you're going to see a lot more profit in it as well. Especially the top leagues that get the League SBCs. If you have them already in your club, these cards are going to skyrocket. But if you end up picking it up while these League SBCs are out down the line... You're going to have so much profit. Um, I don't want to say profit potential. I don't know what the word would be. It's going to be harder to pick up the cards from the top leagues if they're silver on bid. But if you do, 
it's going to be really cool to see. Okay, I know, for example, I'll give Liga MX. Liga MX is one of my favorite leagues to do. So I'll go into that real quick and explain it. I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent, um, but my mind's in a million places right now. I know that right now I bid 150 on every single one of these cards. And I'm able to pick them up. But when the Liga MX League SBC comes out, I know that these skyrocket in price. But since there's so many silvers in this league anyways, they tend to go back down. But since it's a league SBC and people can actually get packs out of them, the price will rise throughout the day. So I can pick up a bunch of these for 150 even when the league SBC is out. But I know they will sell for like 500 plus coins, some for over 1,000. Sniping methods will become very important as well. Now it's more bidding than anything. But you'll get to a point where you'll be sniping a crap ton of cards. So take these in mind. Um, if you need any more trading tips, I'll do it on stream to explain a little better. I don't know how well of a job I did there. But as always, if you guys enjoy, feel free to smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you next time. It's been your boy Mumbly. And I'm out. Peace.